Well, the Aditya L1 mission is a prestigious one, but more importantly is the number of years of hard work that actually goes into it, decades of work. I have Professor Jagdeep Singh with me, and you have worked for more than two decades in the beginning of Aditya, the Sun mission itself. Yes. Was it a mission impossible? Uh, it now making it making it possible now. Uh, it was a dream in, to begin with, but uh, it has become possible because of the hard work done by the team, and Professor Raghunanda Prashad led the team, and uh, he continuously worked on that project, and uh, beginning. to begin with itself uh, i have to work hard to convince the management that this project is important okay and when you want to get the funding it is not easy to get the funding surely surely okay first stage you have to convince them with the uh, scientific uh, reasons scientifically that it is important then feasibility study has to be made whether it is possible or not right so a lot of iso engineers looked into that feasibility study and uh, there was a little hitch in the beginning that uh, you are going to observe in the visible band wavelength band then why you want to go to space Correct. kind of a thing etc so it took some time but clearly you have convinced them well enough uh, and then they all got convinced um, because got today when we stand here yeah. talking about a project just one week after chandrayaan 3 mm. has landed on the moon now we are reaching for the sun uh, with aditya yeah. but if i can ask you what do we expect in terms of understanding this for the common person or anybody i i understand scientifically you want to understand how the sun works the even the work that is done by indian institute of astrophysics the payload is one of the most important one on this mission but for the common man as we would like to connect with people what would they get to understand or know from this i think connect you see one thing it is one thing is general public Hmm. Another is thing is student community. Let's do the general yeah. public first. What do uh, they gain from this? Uh, so you are talking only about general public. Yes. I am talking about students also. We'll get to the <laughs> students because you have trained so many of them. But uh, you are making then, a very interesting observation uh, student, about mobile not technology. Not students. Student. Okay. And that students. I am talking about the school students. Yes. And they, they are eager to know what scientific to, temp increasing scientific, uh, scientific temper. Scientific, uh, scientific temper. They want to know what is in nature. then learn a lot of know and general public if you are talking about the general public then uh, you see lot of appliances people use it even a rickshaw puller or even a anybody hmm. even a person who earns uh, their meal with the hard difficulty they have the mobile phone correct and they use the facility correct this facility is the technology development Mm. and this facility came up not for the gen- thinking of the general public sure. they came because of the space technology yes when you want to send any satellite or any experiment weight has to be less the volume has to be less sure. so that you can launch it okay so that well by products are many mm. which come in the because of the space technology mm. even if you talk of uh, some disabled person mm. previously disabled person was using heavy uh, gears mm. or heavy instruments to walk Not around not become very lightweight and they have become lightweight right it is all because of this uh, space technology this is the byproduct of the space technology Absolutely. so vlc also we have developed lot of technology which will be, have a, their own byproduct Mm. and let us talk of the mirror of the blc m1 that we tried to procure from many agencies mm. but finally it was produced in house indigenously yes. indigenously since uh, the requirement was very stiff very difficult to achieve it finally our scientists have been able to achieve it our engineers have been able to achieve it so with that technology you see now when they talk of car design hmm. they want less light to be scattered correct when they are uh, lamp they are doing it correct. and other things correct. very focused so well well focused so all these things what we learn from our space technology go into the car technology yes, so that way it is uh, has a by product which are used across the many spheres, spheres. if i may ask you also 
when when you were observing the sun from from earth you were doing it largely during eclipses in the time this helps you now around the clock observation and getting your data uh, on an on an after you manage it on a daily basis yeah it data comes every day hmm. so and that is what i told is that uh, we get the observation for 24 hours the data is downloaded only when the satellite come in the visible range kind of a thing etc comes in the line of our, our antenna so the 24 hours of our, 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 our observation are downloaded for 9 hours and we are getting the data sometimes we are getting real time data <coughs> suppose some event takes place in a zetic event cme etc that time we can get a re- online data also sure. and study their effects on the earth and it takes 5 months to go to uh, to the sun in terms so the, of the satellite to reach the sun the satellite will take about 127 days 127 days, days to reach and the earth. lifespan is around 5 years for and now your lifetime at, is about 5 years is the minimum minimum you looking But, at minimum 5 uh, years uh, we expect about 10 years 10 to 12, 15 years kind no, of hamare yahan pe in india mein bolte hain ki ayush zyada ho to aur bhi zyada kar sakta hai so thank you so much for talking to us here at cnn news 18 thank you